starting yeah it has started so mr ram today we are going to talk about the most important aspect of english writing which is the punctuation especially when it comes to punctuation we make a lot of mistake lot of mistakes not mistake and uh, today we are going to start with the usage of comma one of the most simple yet most mistakenly used punctuation there are so many things that we are going to cover in comma today so let's get started so let me share the screen with you at first here as you could see the screen uh, mr ram so the usage of comma so as you know uh, mr ram that comma can completely yeah so i am going to unhide the sentences one by one yeah to make the suspense so it can completely change the meaning of the sentence you already know this is one of the most important aspect let's look into this example cooking dogs singing etc for example if you ask me sir what are your hobbies and if i write like this cooking dogs singing etc the chances are you are you will start laughing at me because cooking dogs it is a completely different thing cooking now if i put a comma over here now it is making some sense cooking yeah taking dogs outside or loving the dog so this is the impact of comma in of course in speaking rarely it matters but in writing it is of a much more importance so there are some uh, there are some uh, points regarding comma which we need to be clear before going ahead so today we are going to talk about its usage where do we use comma kahan use karte hain comma at first this is the first thing we use comma where to describe the list list of words or list of nouns list of words or list of nouns for example if i give you the example this is a sentence for your subjects you may choose hindi english and sanskrit here there are list of nouns you may choose hindi or list of words you may choose hindi comma english and sanskrit so here comma is required uh is it clear mr ram can you hear me yes sir yes sir yes sir oh, okay okay all right so here comma is required it is compulsory to use comma but it is not only restricted to the usage of words or nouns it it can be used to describe the list of activities as well list of activities for example as you could see in the next example kashvi the name of a girl kashvi will do the decoration jia will buy things anita will invite people and john will bring snacks here there are list of activities so to denote the list of activities we can use comma now mr ram i have one question from you which is uh, the most uh, i guess uh, people really make a lot of mistakes and they come a lot with a doubt so as you could see mr ram that there are two sentences written my friend is young smart and good natured my friend is young smart and good natured could you find any difference between these two sentences uh, yes sir the second one is wrong first one is right the second one is wrong and the first one is right why is that mr ram because uh, the comma and uh, and i think they cannot uh, come together okay yeah. and is uh, 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 to distinguish two thing or differentiate two things and the comma is doing the same thing okay okay all right that's good mr ram and you are somehow correct but here in this case mr ram uh, for the correct sentences uh, mr ram i am going to use the green color okay okay sir so both the sentences both are sentences. correct why according to british english comma is not required before and but according to oxford english even you could use comma before and it is totally okay it is okay. hence it is also called as oxford comma oxford comma so you can use it there is no restrictions yeah but sir in writing what we should follow you could do anything mr ram you could use anything both the sentences are correct but we have to write accordingly to the invigilator 
you according to the invigilator yeah uh, to be very honest uh, mr ram if i if you speak of examination so in as per the ielts examination because uh, in ielts what they prefer they prefer you to work uh, to write as per the uk as per the british english so the first one would be appropriate but that does not mean the second one is incorrect it is also correct so in ielts english uh, and in oet i guess you have heard about oet occupational english our test yeah so in both the examinations they consider it correct they do not uh, mark it as incorrect but in ssc examination if you talk about then the second one is incorrect yeah yes sir so yeah i am talking about this sir in the second uh, sentence it is an it is a uh, you can say it is a loss of energy mm -hmm. because we are placing two things similarly which having the same meaning mm -hmm. absolutely it is a loss of energy and loss of uh, words in fact the next example will clear your doubt mr ram now my friend is young and smart so do you think both the sentences are correct or incorrect which one is incorrect sir in my opinion it is second one is incorrect absolutely mr ram second one is incorrect because here the difference comes when we talk about only two activities or two words or two nouns okay then... in that case comma is not required before and so this is the rule so here the second one is totally incorrect totally incorrect there is no justification or explanation for it it is totally incorrect now let's look into the, is it clear so far mr ram yes sir yes sir okay let's look upon the next thing adjectives we already know about adjectives quality of noun and pronoun we use it to talk about now let's look into one example if you could see it was a long noisy and annoying journey so here we are talking about mr ram list of adjectives okay, okay. list of adjectives so as i told you earlier that when it comes to list we always use comma before it so it is it should be clear i guess it it is clear to you now let's look into this example he had a bright red toy he had a bright and red toy what is the difference are they same mr ram or are they different or oh, let me put comma over here are they same or are they different mm, so he had a bright red toy uh, it is the uh, and he had a bright that second one is wrong sir uh, first first one is uh, showing the quality of the toy bright and red okay so are they these are two qualities or these are uh, say one quality these two are different qualities or are these yeah these two are different qualities bright okay. and red right yeah okay and and what about the second one sir as as uh, you have already uh, mentioned that uh, when we compare two uh, two things but here and is not used i think here the comma uh, may come okay so if i put for example and over there now is it correct Okay, sir. Okay, now it is correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Mr. Ram, if I talk about bright and red, so it is only one quality, not two qualities, because it is red is the adjective, and here bright is working as an adverb. Adverb. Yeah. So it is one quality, not two qualities. Okay. So that's why, lal to hai, chamki la lal in Hindi. What we say. Yes, sir. so that's why it is a single quality and when there is a single quality why to use comma okay but if there are two qualities wo chamkila bhi hai wo lal bhi hai he had a bright and red toy and then of course and is required so comma was inappropriate but if we add and then it becomes appropriate is it yes. clear mr ram yes sir yes sir now both the sentences are correct so uh, green sir in the second sentence if yeah. we put a in 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 front of red, then here it becomes two types. He had bright and a red. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Good. He had, he had a bright and a red toy. Absolutely. Now it becomes two toys, right? Yes, sir. Good. Very nice. So you picked it. To toy or toys will come. <laughs> at the, on that time, at that time, it will be uh, toys. Toys. 
yeah at that time for the for the case which you are talking about absolutely so let me write it over here so that it will also help people so he had a red a, a red toys okay yes so this is uh, now let's look into the next example so here comes the next example when it comes to grammar mr ram i really love discussing about grammar with you Sir, it, it is the only reason <laughs> that i am not good at speaking <laughs> okay no issues of course once we are done with writing because there are so many sessions on writing mr ram after that speaking is the only thing left so we are going to have a lot of speaking activities now mr ram uh, here there are two sentences this is a very very funny movie and this is a very very funny movie according to you which one is correct or both of them are correct i think so the second one is correct second one is correct okay why so because as a uh, the here uh, funny is adjective very is adverb and the very the first very i do not know okay okay all right so usually in our conversation we speak this sentence so many times bahut bahut very very right and as per grammar uh, if i talk about mr ram so grammatically this one is correct very comma very very funny movie so when it comes to very very bahut bahut so we always use comma in between because again it becomes a list very very comma is required okay and instead of saying very very though it is incorrect but if you write like this this is a really very funny movie now it becomes correct so with uh, for for every quality or anything if uh, you know there are more than two things then of course we need to use comma this is a very very funny movie so this is where people make a lot of mistakes so we need to know about it now let's look into the next one and this is actually something uh, which is very important mr ram that uh, we use comma to talk about non essential information non essentials which is not required at all we simply put it for our own convenience but if you even remove the sentence or word it it will it will still convey the meaning so let's look into some examples then only it will be clear so let me show it to you just give me yeah yeah so mr ram if i talk about these two sentences i will give the pen to my brother kapil and i will give the pen to my brother kapil what is the difference between these two sentences and do you think are they same or different or what do you think the first one is right first one is right okay yeah. and, and, and yeah in the first sentence he is uh, introducing his brother Mm -hmm. and and in in the second sentence he is uh, mentioning uh, just uh, he is using the brother in front of his name his uh, brother name brother's name mm -hmm. in the first sentence he is introducing correct mr ram somehow like uh, now to be of surprise mr ram both the sentences are correct okay in their own manner now here we need to understand the meaning of non essential information mr ram for example you have only one daughter but let me let me give uh, my example for example i have only one brother whose name is kapil now if i have only one brother then why to use kapil after that i could simply say this sentence this sentence is also making sense i'll give the pen to uh, i will give the pen to my brother it is quite obvious that i am talking about my single brother only okay but still i am putting kapil after that so now it is non essential it is not essentials zarurat nahi hai but fir bhi laga diya still i put it yes sir that's why comma is required before it it is non essential are you getting me mr ram yes sir yes sir but now let's say mr ram i have three or four of my siblings or my cousins or my brother and i have to speak i i have to speak about only one of my brothers now it becomes essential to mujhe uska naam lena hi padega 
सो आई गिव द पेन टू माई ब्रदर कपिल मैं अपने ब्रदर मेरे बहुत सारे भाइयों में से आई एम गोइंग गिविंग द पेन टू माई ब्रदर कपिल Now it becomes essential to address Kapil. Yes. Hence, here comma is not required. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. So both the sentences are correct, but both convey different meaning. That is the only thing which we need to understand. But both of them are correct. So when you, when, when, whenever you write, Mr. Ram, it is always required to, you know, to look the context in which you are writing. आपको कॉन्टेक्स्ट क्लियर होना चाहिए दैट ओके दिस इज माय कॉन्टेक्स्ट एक ब्रदर है या बहुत सारे ब्रदर हैं लाइक दिस सो द कॉन्टेक्स्ट हैज टू बी क्लियर नाउ मिस्टर राम हियर दिस इज द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल कुड यू टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू एंड बाय द वे बोथ द सेंटेंसेस आर करेक्ट लेकिन Let's say, Mr. Ram, you have published only one book. So, do you think that at that time I need to mention the name of the book? No. It is quite clear that you have only one book published. You have only one book, which was published in 2010. So, why to mention the name of the book? It is non-essential. But for example, you have published so many books, and I come and ask you, Mr. Ram, which is your first publication? and at that time you are saying that sir my first book the lake was published in 2010 now the lake becomes essential so here comma is not required is it clear mr ram yes sir yes sir this is a very basic difference yet both the sentences are correct in their own manner yes. let's talk about the next one which is usage of comma with that and which one of the most important thing which people usually ask so let's understand how to use comma with that and which that and which both are pronoun let's understand here mr ram as you could see in this example there are two examples kashvi's book that are old its books kashvi's books that are old are never kept clean in the second example jia's books which are old are never kept clean now mr ram always remember with that we never use comma yes sir with that we never ever use comma but with which before which we always use comma okay so this is a rule so i have written it over here with that we never use comma before which we always use comma is it clear yes sir very basic thing yet people make mistakes so that's why it is quite necessary to speak of it and uh, if i ask uh, if you ask me that sir what's the reason behind it is there any particular explanation yes it has explanation but for that i have to go deeper into the grammar but so far uh, if i talk about uh, that so that uh, i guess you must have heard about it mr ram so that is also called as restrictive pronoun yes sir okay. so with restrictive pronoun we never use comma what is restrictive pronoun of course i'll clarify it in the future sessions but for the time being you could simply uh, say that with that and which with that we never use comma with which we always use comma okay as simple as that i'll tell about restrictive pronoun in the upcoming sessions and i guess you already know about it isn't it no sir okay okay all right all right in 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 upcoming sessions i i'll clear okay for the time because it is a completely different topic completely different uh, section yes sir 
let's talk about the next section which is interruptions interruptions now what do we mean by interruptions interruptions are a group of words or sentences if you use these in your sentence it is okay if you do not use them in the sentence it is still okay without them as well you could form the sentence let me give you an example then only it will be clarified as you could see below mr ram that your book has been frankly impressive or the house once we finally found it was very costly now do you think mr ram that if i omit frankly is it still okay is the sentence still complete yes sir absolutely so these are interruptions if you use it it is okay if you do not use it it is still okay so when it comes to in a, you know uh, any interruption again it is non essential mr ram it is non essential it is not required at all but still you are using it so hence comma is required to talk about interruptions for example if i talk about the this sentence the house was very costly is it conveying the entire meaning mr ram but if i use this the house once we finally found it was very costly aap iska use nahi karoge mr ram if you do not use it it is still okay but since you used it it is non essential it is an interruption and hence we need to use comma before and after it Uh, yeah is it clear mr ram any doubt no sir no. perfect so with interruptions with non essential information we always use comma simple as simple as simple that let's talk about the next one which is introductions introductions not any formal introduction for example mr ram introduce yourself to me introductions means for example if i show you some examples here as you could see yes we expect to attend the class honestly why would you do that or to be honest i don't like this idea so in general mr ram when you share your opinion jab aap apna opinion share karte ho so whatever phrase or whatever word that you use to share your opinion after that we use comma in my opinion in my point of view if you ask me i feel so so these are some opinion right these are some slang words which we use to speak our opi opinion about our opinion after that we always use comma if you do not use it it is still okay for example if i omit yes it is still okay the sentence is still complete yes sir Yeah, but if you use yes, so it is or uh, actually speaking about your opinion. So whenever you share your opinion, whatever phrase that you use, however, whatever, whichever, anything, so comma is required after that. So here it is, introductions. That's why we call them introductions. If you do not use it, it is still okay. And let's. Uh, so far, is it clear, Mr. Ram? Any doubt? No, sir. let's talk about the next one after thought now what do we mean by after thought after thought means let's say mr ram so after you do something i come to you and ask i i i ask about your feedback for example mr ram how's diwali celebration now there are two point so since you have experienced it you have experienced uh, the diwali celebration so definitely you are going to share your review or you are going to share your feedback yes sir diwali celebration was good but i think it could have been better so this is called as after thought mr ram for example i found the test rather easy to be honest here you are not sharing your opinion you are giving your feedback mr ram paper kaisa tha uh, sir paper acha tha मेरे ख्याल से आसान था हियर यू आर नॉट शेयरिंग योर ओपिनियन यू आर गिविंग योर फीडबैक अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द एग्जामिनेशन वाज इजी सो टू बी ऑनेस्ट सो हियर दिस इज द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंट्रोडक्शन इन इंट्रोडक्शंस ओके लेट मी शेयर द फुल स्क्रीन इन इंट्रोडक्शंस यू शेयर्ड योर ओपिनियन 
but in after thought you share your feedback you share your review right whenever we purchase something from amazon we do not share our opinion we share our review isn't it mr ram yes sir. this is a very minor difference so we talk about feedback or a review both the sentences are correct so we always use comma once uh, if we share our review or feedback now mr ram there are many more things to discuss uh, about uh, comma there are a few more things few more rules to discuss about but since the number of participants are less today so i do not want anything or anybody to miss out on anything so we are we are going to put a stop over here today okay now mr ram today for you the assignment is that you have to write an article on power of simplicity in life yes so this is an article which you have to write and as you shared you have to share uh, share it before the session so that we could check and we could uh, especially my focus would be on comma that whether you put the comma appropriately or not so just go for uh, yeah just go for 